Welcome to the homework for lesson 23. This is module four of grade two. Get your name on here first before you forget to do it. And we're solving, we're using number bonds to uh, subtract from 100. The first one is shown for you as an example. You may remember take from 10 in first grade. When you have larger numbers, we're working on taking from 100. And uh, this is really a mental math trick or, or method. And we're showing it using number bonds and equations. Just the same way that we learned take from 10, we're going to practice it the same way for take from 100. So this is what you do uh, in case you don't remember. You're looking at the 100. Anytime you're subtracting a 10, you know, and, and 10s, I mean the numbers when you count by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, like that, and so on. When you're subtracting a 10, it's easier to think of subtracting it from 100 because then you, you're using your parts of 10 again, except now they're parts of 100. And then you write your two equations. So we'll just do a few of them here. 121 minus 90. Think of that as 100. And 21. And then we subtract the 90 from the 100. And we'll have 10 left there. And then we add that to the 21. That's the rest of the subtrahend, or the rest of the minuend. So then we have 10 plus 21, 31. When you do it this way, you're always going to be adding a 10 to you know whatever the other part of the minuend was in your number bond. So you're always going to have an easy addition and an easy subtraction when you use this method. 112 minus 80, that's 100, and 12, and subtract the 80 from the 100, we get 20, and then add your leftovers together, 20 plus the 12, 32, 135 is 100, and 35, subtract the 70 from the 100, You have 30 left. And now we add to the other part. 30 plus 35, 65. 136 is 100. And 36. Subtract the 60 from the 100. You're going to have 40 left. And then you add it to the other part. So we write out the 100 minus 60 equals 40, because 6 and 4 make 10, so 60 and 40 make 100. And then we have the 40 plus the 36 equals 76. 129 is 100, and 29, and 100 minus 50 is 50. And we add the 50 to the 29. 79. A couple more of these to practice. 156. Subtract the 80 from all of the 80 from the 100. There's 20 left. And then we add it to the other part that's still left, 56, put it back together, a total of 76 left over. 138 is 138. Subtract the 40, <coughs> take it all from the 100, really easy to subtract tens from 100, and then add the leftover part to the other part. 60 plus 38, 98. Now we have an example here. We have some sick math to fix. Monica incorrectly solve 132 minus 70 to get 102. Show her how to solve it correctly. So here's how she did it. As you can see, she split it up into 132. Okay. Then she subtracted 30 from 100. To get 70 left, 
she should have subtracted the seven, like the subtrahend here is 70. So we can see what her mistake was. <clears throat> but the, what we have to really have to do is solve this correctly. So she started out with this part was good, 100 and the 32. But you have to subtract the 70 from the 100. That's our subtrahend. You can't change that. You have to subtract 100. Uh, you have to subtract 70, I mean. So 100, and we're going to subtract the 70. Have 30 left, and then we add that to the 32. And this mistake that Monica made, it happens a lot in the beginning when you're trying to do this kind of stuff. <clears throat> These mental tricks, sometimes you forget which number you're subtracting from where. And uh, But just practice it a little bit, and it, it comes pretty easily after just a little bit of practice. Put the parts back together, 62. Billy sold 50 fewer magazines than Alex. Alex sold 128 magazines. How many magazines did Billy sell? Solve using a number bond. All right, so here we have... Uh, you could. I'm going to draw a tape diagram. You could draw a labeled number bond doing this too. But I'm going to make a tape diagram. Okay, Billy... There's Billy and Al Billy sold fewer than Alex, so Alex is going to have a bigger piece of tape. And he sold 50 fewer, so this is the fewer, and it's 50. We know Alex sold 128, and we this is what we needed to figure out what Billy sold. So solve using a number bond, that's, we can see here, we're going to be doing 128 and subtract 50 to find the other part, which will be what Billy sold. And here's where we use the number bond, just like we've been practicing. 128, 100 minus 50 equals 50, 50 plus 28. 78 and now we need our answer statement so you got to have your picture right your tape diagram works great for this and there's the number bond that we needed right here so we're following all the directions we wrote an equation we have two different equations here right we have our equation and then <coughs> this is also an equation up here and now we're going to write our answer statement Billy sold 78 magazines. Got to have all of this. 